Hi, Jenny. Hi. Thank you for coming. <laughs> if I just, I don't know how much time you have. Can you give me like, I, I wanted the room to populate just for like two minutes, just to get some more people in here before we start. Um, just so you can bless us with your your lovely news. <laughs> but I'm sure I want to make sure that people get in here because whenever we, you know, of course, have people that want to come in and give golden nuggets, I always, always want to make sure that we have enough uh, of the audience. Usually, people will miss it anyway um, if they come later, and that's okay. Um, but I really do want people to hear your story because it's it's so inspirational and motivational. We need that right now because we got what four weeks left in the year, <laughs> believe yeah. it or not. And, you know, um, you have been a quite a, a queen of sorts of the motivation we need tonight. So without further ado, Shelby, I am going to introduce you and okay. um, and we're going to get ready to start. I did put you on blast, Shelby, with your story um, in the email group <laughs> and people, I think, really appreciated um, just hearing your story. But nonetheless, so. Hi, everybody. My name is Shara. For those of you that don't know me, I am the founder of Journey to Licensure, clinical social worker and founder of this space. Um, we've been running this for almost two years now, and I run one-to-one -one as well as group coaching in a very non-traditional sense, um, unlike other exam and self-study programs, which I'll get into later. Um, but, you know, happy holidays to you guys as well. The holidays are coming up fast, but along with that, Goals are really important. You guys are trying to pass your exams or about to take it before the year is out or at the beginning of the new year. So um, Shelby is here. Shelby White was one of our boot camp members from our eight week course. What was what was the cohort? Was it October class that you were in, Shelby? I can't uh, remember. Yes, October. Yes, it was the October. Oh. Okay. And Shelby, um, I'm gonna let her tell the story, but Shelby's been in the audience, just like many of you for a while and tested the water. Shelby, how long were you in our, um, on our clubhouse? Um, for a while, I'm not gonna hold She you. said, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to know, Shelby, like this is part of the, the learning curve for a lot of people. I'm throwing you underneath the bus because I know how long you've been in. You, if you don't want to say how long, that's fine. But the reason why is because people are scared of, you know, doing something different. You know, it takes a while for people to trust me. So they're in the room for a while. They'll see people pass, pass. And then they just get tired and say, you know what? Let me see what she's about. So hearing it from me is one thing. I've been doing this for almost two years. I mean, the social proof is out there. But when hearing it from you guys, when you come out of the audience, you make a choice to try something different and then you end up being where you are right now, which you'll share with everyone. I want, you to, sorry, somebody called me, my mama. I just thought, like said, I had to talk to her later, but I want you to share that journey because sometimes it goes from, I don't know if I can do this. Here's something else that I'm not sure if I want to invest in. That's the mindset of a lot of people, including, I'm assuming, yourself at one point so to talk about that thought that journey going from i need to do something different um i'm going to reach out i've been in that space for a while i know what she does that's a different thought process that only you can speak to i've seen it but it's something else for someone that's been through it can speak to to others so talk about that yeah so uh like Cheryl was saying i've been um, I was in your, I was <laughs> in this space for quite a while now. Um, I would say, I think I came across your clubhouse um, maybe like a year before I pursued um, joining your boot camp. And so I was, I attended the sessions that you had every Monday. Um, and then I think I ended up like deleting my clubhouse and then life happened. And then, um, came across your ad for the boot camp series. And at that time, um, I was on my third attempt. Um, so taking the LMSW, I have had, it's been a journey, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a journey um, passing uh, this licensing exam because I feel as though uh, what I really needed to learn was to not doubt myself. Uh, when it came to the content, um, I, I really struggled with that piece. Um, because I, I knew what was being tested on. 
Um, I knew how to be an ethical social worker because I was taking on roles demonstrating that competency. But when it came to the exam, I had so much anxiety and and allowed past failures to kind of get in my head and um, and just really doubted myself a lot. I know for my first attempt when taking that exam, I missed it by two points. And I believe it was like 10 questions that I went back and changed the answers on. Um, and so then I was like, you know what? Gosh darn it, I messed up. I'm not gonna do that same mistake again. When it came to my second attempt, I did the same mistake. <laughs> and I think I um, changed the questions of like 20 of them and ended up missing my LMSW exam, uh, my licensing exam by 10 points. And I was so upset and I felt so defeated. Um, and, and it was then with not getting that result that I knew I could get, I was like, I, I needed to do something different. Um, obviously, um, there's something that I need additional help on. Uh, when it came to that anxiety, when it came to um, doubting myself and, and changing those answers, I, I realized that um, what I was doing before, uh, studying by myself, um, all of that couldn't get me to what I needed to be, which was a pass. And so I came across your ad on Facebook one I say God ordained night because <laughs> I wasn't even like, I think I was taking a fast on social media. And next thing I know, I'm on social media and then boom, there's that ad. And I was like, come on. Um, and it was just like your experiences being relatable to my experience on how um, just that anxiety can be so immobilizing when it comes to taking this exam, uh, whether this is your first attempt or um, you're, you're still in the game of trying to get that licensure. Um, it was just the fact that um, the services that you provided was so up my alley and I felt so empowered and seen that my experiences, it, it, I, I wasn't alone in experiencing with those anxieties and, and, and struggling to get um, a, a goal that is no, that we know that we can achieve. And so I took that step. I realized that I needed to try something different. Um, and make an investment towards my future. And it's all about perspective. I really had to shift my perspective because I was a little, you know, um, hesitant at first with trying something different. Um, but I realized that my future mattered more than my temporary discomfort of um, stepping outside of my comfort zone. And Ooh, being Shelby, part say that again, right there, <laughs> right there. No, no, people need to hear that, you know. <laughs> You said your you being uncomfortable was the turning of the tide. Yeah, that, and doing something different and new um, that was a little bit longer than doing a day program. We did it for eight weeks, right? So, um, and it was you know it's not the typical you know eighty five dollar one study a self study program. You're investing in different tools, and right? You, and I was with you every step of the way. You even called me, Shelby, when you were nervous, right? We talked through <laughs> a lot of that. So it's not just taking the exam with me, the experience of having someone to keep you accountable when life is happening around you. And for you, Shelby, yeah. that was happening. It happened to you the first two times you took your exam. And you take it, I hear so many people, I've taken this exam 10 times. And they're in the audience. And it's not how many times you take it. How many times are you willing to get back up? Don't do the same thing again. Do right. something different and figure out what you need to do to get out of this group. And so it's not like just me throwing smoke up the butt when I tell people, like, I want y'all out of this group. I want you in the field. I don't want you in this space. My my time with you in this space is to keep you motivated, to encourage you, and to hold it, the vision for you of your license until you can hold it yourself. That to me is the type of exam coaching that I do. So yes. Shelby, when you speak of your experience in that program um, of getting practice questions, I would drop you guys messages in the group chat, right? Um, hey. and encourage every time someone passed or giving you guys a story or leaving you guys. <laughs> I thought I was annoying you guys because there's a separate group chat, you guys, for those that don't know. In the eight week course, there's a group chat that I drop things almost every day. I think I did Shelby in your group to keep mm -hmm. y'all motivated because yeah. I don't see you guys every day. 
and it helped it truly helped because like i said like it it it, it reinstilled that that empowerment that we can do this um to stay positive um i know a lot of us with having that group message um it was extremely helpful not only for accountability and being surrounded by other people who are in that journey with me with trying to get that licensure uh, we were motivating each other and, and being poured into with the, the daily inspiration or the motivations that you would send. Um, it, it really helps that community piece is what I realized I really needed with taking, with getting uncomfortable and taking that um, step towards investing in my future. That a community piece and accountability piece was huge, I feel, with why this result was different. Um, because I was constantly being nourished and, and being um, having that positive um, impact on me. Um, and, and it was just very, it, it, just, it just hit differently. I, I have to say it just hit differently. Well, Shelby, I am, um, again, I'm very proud of you. And thank you for coming in. And I did ask Shelby to come in, not just be like, hey, look at her. I passed her. I Every time we have somebody that pass from either from this space after being in here for months or they're in one of the coaching programs and they come back in here and they pour out, they were once in the very seats you guys are in now. Mm -hmm. Shelby was in the audience, you know, <laughs> she and she felt the pain for a while, right? You went through <laughs> trial and error and then you took the chance to do something different. And now I can tell you, hey, Shelby, you are now master level social worker. Get on out of here. I think. <laughs> Right. So I think and, and I'm just so proud of you. And I don't want to just say that to Shelby. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of all of you that come in here every Monday, even when you're not ready, even if you're not don't have the money to invest in services yet. yet. But you, you consistently showing up in the space, just like Shelby did until yeah. she was ready is because you see a value in being a part of community. I, by the way, I did see someone in the chat saying, where are the questions at? I will get to the questions. Okay, they will come. Um, but part of this, I, I wanted Shelby to come in here. What's besides giving questions in the space, what's most important is the value you guys get in here, the encouragement that you get, um, that you get poured into. I think Shelby, after you pass your exam, you sent me a very powerful, I think, bathroom picture. <laughs> it wasn't her on the toilet, y'all. Now it was her taking a picture in front of a big mirror, and the powerful text that she left me. Um, was that this was the very bathroom that I was in when I failed the last time crying. Um, I thought that was a very powerful kind of cathartic moment for you um, yeah. because you were in the very space uh, that the same test center that you took it, what, once or twice in? I'm not sure if it was just twice or once. Uh, um, location, it was that uh, once. Oh, okay. So that was this. okay. So it was, it was the second uh, time. The one the time before um that you were in that space that you failed and i remember you said you text me saying i'm in the same bathroom that i was in that i cried my eyes out that i failed in and you're you you have this 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 huh relief <laughs> yeah. um, but i also remember how scared you were and i said you were going to be okay we had a couple of different conversations She's like i don't know if i want to test it's just like dewanya if you remember dewanya clayton i pushed her <laughs> I pushed her over. I said, you're going to get this LCSW. You're going to get out of my space. I'm done with you. And I said the same thing to you when you were seeing your positive results of your test results. You're like, I don't think I'm ready. I said, no, you are. We're done. I poured into you enough. There's nothing else I can teach you. You need to believe in what you're seeing. Yeah. Um, so I, again, Shelby, I just want to thank you for coming in here and for the people that um, are listening to you that are in the very virtual seat that you were in, what advice would you get to them um, in reference to, you know, just whatever comes to mind from you, for your, you know, from your heart, what do you feel that you want to give to them as you leave this space until <laughs> you're clinical? Um, Cause you're getting your LC. Absolutely. Um, what would you give to your peers before I go into the next part of it for them? Yeah, um, I would have to say like, like don't be afraid to invest in yourself because, um, not take like like your perspective can either propel you or keep you in that same space and i feel as though when it came to me recognizing that i needed something to change in order to get that pass 
it was recognizing the value of your services and being able to be a part of a community where um, I'm held accountable um, with aiming towards getting that LMSW and um, having that um, sense of encouragement and empowerment, the amount of support that you give in your services is unmatched. Like there is no other program. I've tried TDC, I've tried uh, all other programs and the what I needed, I couldn't get from those other programs. And I, I, I feel as though your services really, how, how you have your audio set up, all of that factored into why I got the pass that I, I had today um, because I learned differently and, and, and a part of my journey of getting my licensure, I really had to nail down what helps me learn um, and your program offers that. And so if you are scared, if you are straddling that fence of, what, of, of should I invest into myself? Should I be a part of these services? Yes, do it. <laughs> Do it. If you can spend money to get that iPad, if you can spend money to to get that Apple Watch, the, the iPhone 14, if you can get all of that, if you can recognize the value in those type of investments, do the same when it comes to your future and your career. Um, cause cause it's it's a it'll it's a life changer, like that perspective of recognizing that you have value and and that you deserve to have your goals nurtured. It's powerful within itself and if it wasn't for recognizing that i needed to invest in myself and seek services that will cater to my needs is 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 a done deal so if you're straddling that fence of um being a part of uh shara services do it it's well worth the money um the amount of support that you will receive is unmatched and I can't stress enough my thanks and gratitude to what you do, Shara, and your passion for helping um, us as colleagues, you know, get to where we're capable of going. I really appreciate all that you're doing. Thank you, Shelby. And it's, this is not a, you know, I didn't, all I do is give you guys the tools. I don't do anything else but that. I hold the space, yes, but I, I the credit can't go all to me. It goes to the people that I give the tools to. So you did the work. All I can, I can't force you to study, right? All I can do is give you the tools, give you the structure, give you the blueprint. You have to be able to do the rest. But all I can do is hold the space for you when you're fighting yourself, because we all do it. We fight ourselves with our lives when we're studying. And Shelby, you had a lot going on. I um, as many as many, I remember, you oh. know. So and you ain't even got to go into that. But uh, if you know, that's your your personal business. But it, you know, tutors are great, not saying self-study programs don't work. What I provide is a little bit different and a lot more, a little bit longer and a lot more hands-on because I know what it is to fight with anxiety, knowing what it is to fail, knowing what it is to buy a whole bunch of stuff and you just look at it. Like, I, I don't, I'm so overwhelmed and I'm deep, kind of stuck and imprisoned by it that I can't move forward. And I have so many consults and so many stories like that. So when I see somebody pass, Shelby, like you, all it does is it, it reminds me of why I do it. And every time one of you guys pass, it's like I'm passing all over again. That's why I do it. That's why I spend so much of my free time on here on Mondays, because I want you guys to feel motivated to pass no matter how many times you fail. You only fail when you give up. Now, imagine, Shelby, if you would not have taken oh. this exam a third time. Can you imagine? No. You can. <laughs> you you can your first time, your second time, third time was a charm for you. It doesn't matter how many times you take it. What matters is you do not give up on you. So, Shelby, thank you so much for coming into the space and thank you for pouring into your colleagues. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your precious time, but I'm just really grateful that you came in to talk to your peers, not even just to talk about my services, but to talk about your experience and pouring into the very colleagues that were with you in the virtual stage, um, being in the space for a while that you have been in. Um, so thank you for sharing. I Sorry, my mother keep calling me. I hope whoever needs that. Um, just feels encouraged to keep going no matter what. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you.